What's the significance of Obama's visit to India? Well, I think it's hugely significant from two perspectives. One is I think it's a bold move on the part of the Indian Prime Minister to have invited President Obama and for in turn for Obama to have accepted. But at the same time, when we look at this relationship between India and the United States from a historical perspective, it's actually quite unsurprising given that both these countries, two of the largest democracies in the world, some would say outsized democracies, have spent a good 60 years in trying to understand where each other comes from. And they've gone through a period of crises decade by decade to a place today where you have an Indian prime minister who's not hypnotized by some of the prejudices of the past and is able to take bold decisions such as asking the president to stand by him on India's 66th Republic Day Parade. And how is this relationship going to develop? Well, I think in the sense, I think there is a certain degree of zest or energy now in India, for instance, in trying to see <clears throat> in trying to see how it can deliver uh, how this relationship can develop over three pillars, if you like. One is, of course, economic, which is the most important um, sort of driver as far as this Indian government is concerned. And I think that's it's important that we look at this relationship both from the perspective of cementing closer economic relations, but also the impact and consequences of those economic relations domestically in India. I mean, the primary aim of the Prime Minister is to increasing India's economic growth and to kind of get that growth engine going again and to have the kind of six to seven percent figures that were realized maybe six, five or six years ago. Second is, of course, military. You're seeing a huge degree of conversation on defense cooperation, on even co-production of goods with America. And, and that was quite, quite interestingly, be, interesting because we saw Obama, for instance, earlier this morning, um, standing and saluting a parade where a lot of the kit that was sort of passing him by were things like T-72s, which is actually Russian made. So I think the, the hope very much is to try and see if one can institutionalize the defense cooperation, whereby there'll be co-production of American and Indian goods within India. And the third is, of course, which is less talked about, but I think significant is in intelligence cooperation. I think this is something the Indians are very keen on in trying to see if they can sort of almost sort of hatch on to the American sort of wagon when it comes to the large Intel infrastructure that America has across the world, but certainly in South Asia. And in security terms, what are the main issues? Security terms, I mean, the kind of underlying tone, of course, over here is China. I mean, no one's really talking about it. It doesn't really sort of make it in the press conference because it's implicit rather than explicit. But there is certainly something going on in terms of a relationship forged closer and closer, keeping the rise of China very much in mind. Apart from that, it is interesting is when Prime Minister Modi went to America in 2014, at the end of 2014, it was the first time that in the joint statement you had um, both Indian and the American side agreeing to deal with specific groups, which are specifically named in Afghanistan, for instance. The Haqqani group, for instance, which is largely seen as anti-Indian, is certainly anti-American. Um, and both sides have, I think, come to a position today where they say they will work together, cooperate together. And I'm guessing a lot, a lot of this will be in the area of intelligence cooperation in dealing with the Haqqanis and beating them back in Afghanistan. And what are the implications for the international community? The big question, of course, in back here in Britain, for instance, is looking at all of this and looking at the fact that you have this huge American representation um, in India today, completely unprecedented. Obama is not only the first U.S. president um, to have been to have been present at India's Republic Day Parade, but also the only only president to have visited India twice during his presidency. Um, but of course, coming looking at it from Britain is, I'm sure David Cameron sitting in 10 Downing Street today is saying he hopes very much that Prime Minister Modi will make a visit to the United Kingdom soon. Thanks a lot and happy Republic Day. Oh, thank you and Republic Day to you too.